What's up guys? It's Nitro Medes here from Nitro Node. We've got some rough weekend behind us. At least I've got finally something to talk about here. There are some major changes happening at HPB. Uh, it's going to transform into a decentralized autonomous organization. Uh, half of the domestic team is gone. A uh, whole international team is gone. Everyone's going nuts. So this is the topic for today. I'm going to talk about good and the bad stuff in this video. Uh, I'm going to provide some thoughts and facts and I will tell you where Nitronaut stands on this. So over the past few weeks, HPB team has been rather silent and besides two bi-weekly reports, there was very little news. Some of the community members noticed that there are some big coin movements happening in the top wallets that most likely belong to the team. We are talking about 7 million HPV or so within last 4 to 5 weeks. Now most of these coins ended up on an exchange after going through one or two other wallets. Many people believe that these are new unlocked coins and there's nothing weird about that. Uh, these coins had to be unlocked at some point and actually last year around the same time there were some coin unlocks too. What is alarming is that if these are really new unlocked coins, they should appear in a circulating supply on HPB scan, which they didn't. I'm not going to sugarcoat this at all. Uh, this is a big red flag. This shouldn't be happening. Uh, circulating supply must be up to date so people can evaluate the, their investment. On Saturday last weekend, whole international team came to HPB Global to drop some news. Yeah, even Emma showed up. Within just few minutes, they all announced that they are leaving HPB. The common reason for this is that their vision of future of HPB was different to the one of the CEO who decided to transform into a decentralized autonomous organization. Also, the team of admins who were doing a great job managing HPB Global, they announced that they will be replaced. This, in combination with these coin unlocks, caused everyone to panic. In just few moments, the whole channel was flooded with accounts I have never seen before. They started to fad, calling HPB a scam and advising people to sell before China wakes up and sends HPB to zero. And of course it worked. People started selling and HPB dumped more than 50% within just few hours, all the way down to 6, six cents on OKEX. So there we are, HPB is sitting at all-time lows, China is about to wake up. Looks like this is it for HPB, or is it? Or is there some light at the end of the tunnel? China woke up and to surprise many people, it didn't send HPB to zero. On the contrary, it actually sent HPB back up to 12 cents, almost to the levels where the dump started from. Apparently China has a different opinion on the transformation to DAO than the Western investors. If you're familiar with a decentralized autonomous organization, you probably know that by concept this is pretty close to decentralization and cryptocurrencies in general. It simply means that the community is much more involved in decision-making process and in the development of the project itself. In my opinion, if this came in different time and circumstances, people wouldn't freak out so much. If this was communicated in advance and if it wasn't coming after these coin unlocks, I think it would be perceived much differently. The departing team members said that this decision of the CEO caught them by surprise. But HPB Wallet has community voting function for a good 2-3 months, which kind of gives me an idea that this wasn't as rushed decision as it seems to be. Now this being said, I'm not big fan of this change. Uh, I'm not defending it, I'm just trying to bring some perspective. Any company can happen to re-evaluate re and change their strategy if they think the current one isn't working as it was supposed to. And to be real, from the point of view of price, ranking and dApps, current strategy wasn't working very well. Price has been on a constant decline for a long time, so was the ranking, so we can't just blame the market and there are pretty much no dApps uh, on HPB. The fact is, we don't know how effective and how expensive the leaving team members are. Maybe, just maybe, community will be able to do better and cheaper. 
I know for a fact that there are some really smart and talented people in, in HPV community and what the team needs to do is to cherish those people and attract more people like that, especially developers. I think it's just worth to remind here that HPB has been collaborating with some top Chinese universities and that the CEO has released some uh, blockchain developer courses on the largest online IT educational platform in China with hundreds of thousands of active users. If they are incentivized well, maybe they will come and build something on top of HPB. I actually spoke about uh, DAP's incentivizing campaign that wasn't officially released yet in one of the previous videos, so maybe it will be released soon and it's somehow uh, related to all this. Many people are doubting now even the collaboration with Unium Base Smart and the DAP they are developing together with HPB. But even uh, the leaving members said that the partnership is real, that the DAP is real, it's pretty much ready to be used and it is just waiting for a green light from Chinese authorities. So this, this is leaving some hopium for people who didn't leave HPP after this. So what should you make out of this video? I'm definitely not the one to tell you what to do. I just wanted to summarize what's going on and bring some perspective. However, I do still have a bag because I don't think that this is an exit scam. There are still 34 people who are working full-time for HPB and with China becoming increasingly positive on blockchain, I think there still is a chance for HPB to succeed even though they will likely succeed in a very different manner than I thought they would and it will probably take longer. I think the team needs to address the serious issues that I spoke about here, like the non-updating circulating supply. They need to improve communication and transparency towards community. If this happens, they might start regaining the trust and start building new vision together with their community. As for Nitronode, uh, we are still running business as usual and we have no plans to shut the node down at the moment. We have a contract in a data center for a few more months and when it runs out, it should be more clear uh, what is actually the vision of HPB for the future and then we'll be hopefully able to make a better decision how to proceed. There is Ask Me Anything session with the CEO Xiaoming Wang. Uh, I personally see this session as a crucial to regain some of the trust so if you have any question, just go there and ask. Well, this is it from me for today. I hope you found this video at least a little useful. I wish you good luck in your decision making and I will see you later.